I have a sound check. Can you hear me? Yeah. Great. Okay. So once upon a time, I came to realize that storytelling was a big part of who I was and how I worked. Sometimes the urge to tell stories was brought on by one of life's great motivators, basically fear. <laughs> Taking me back to when I was in grade school in Queens as a bookish kid and where storytelling helped because you could either be funny or really, really fast. So stories helped sometimes. Um, I've also stood in front of large rooms, like kind of like this one, teaching, speaking, and as we said, doing stand-up. And feeling that silence of why are you here to talk to me and what can you possibly teach me? Stories sometimes start to bring the room closer together. And then there was all that time spent in HR, <laughs> communicating with managers and staffs, translating policies, and practices, which were written with the intent of keeping us out of the papers, and more importantly, away from the legal department. Stories were used when common sense failed to make a difference. So how am I going to share these key points of storytelling structure and the merits of story sharing with you, you very smart, capable people who are specialists in humans and behaviors and learning. Well, I'm going to take a shot at this, and I'm going to teach it as a poem, which will rhyme correctly most of the time. <laughs> and it was a very unplanned tribute to Dr. Seuss, who is one of our great teachers that we've all grown up with and learned. After I finish, I will follow up with a very, very, very brief exercise, and there are handouts on the table. So, now we begin. Come, gather around, and listen. Why do I teach storytelling and use storytelling in my work? I had messages to share and had tried all ways to tell it on posters, on t-shirts, on things that shined, on things that could bounce, even on hats named after a mouse. Alas, these items were given, they got dusty, forgotten, and they were soon put away, leaving me standing and still having something to say. So what tool could I use to move folks from stuck into learning? How to stay fresh when discussing people's potential or their habits worth spurning. So I pondered what really engages, what works with all ages, types, and salary ranges. What would, uh, what's compelling to ears, jaded and new? What's low cost, but creative, and enjoyable to do? So the answer was simple, and the solution was quite old. Now is the moment to allow the honored art of story sharing to unfold. So, how do you go about creating a story? Well, if you've thought of your ending, you've already begun. To craft a tale that is deftly spun, just remember that stories for business need a message or a moral to end your tone. So think long and hard about what you want to make known. Then set the story theme throughout all the words that are spoken and start to conjure up emotions you want your listeners to be evoking. Moving on. A narrative theme is your structural key. Now start with, this, start with a setup that tells the key facts worth noting. Litter the story with challenges and quests aptly named rising actions. Three actions should be given, no less. Quote your hero, mix in metaphors, make the scenes come alive. Don't tell, show, act, and play, and the story will thrive. Sit in smell, sights, and sounds, and the emotional soul of the so story resounds. Create magic in your movement. Use grimaces, too. Give your voice much, and then sometimes nothing to do. Tone goes up, tone goes down. Stop and stare, look around. Build tension and pathos and drama and rings. Think out loud. Maybe even take a moment to sing. Now take us to the main event 
and the story's climax and speak of the big changes it brings. Declare what your hero did to make this story worth repeating. Tell the resolution as points, stated clearly, for the story's completing. So my friends, this is a lot to take in and store, so no worries, just practice, sleep on it, read it again, then tighten the lore, then practice and practice and practice, practice some more. Hang on. Making notes and recording, listen and learn, first alone, then with friends. What did they discern? Were there laughs? Or did they cry? Did you hear a snore? Or was that merely a sign? Did they connect with your story? Did they capture a point saying this tale had great telling and you didn't disappoint? So become a bard. Share your stories, true and compelling. You'll know something's working when your words start retelling. Now, don't make a move until you've made two things most certain. You've done a full wardrobe check, and you made sure your mic is really working. So that was the structure of storytelling in 12 minutes or less. I've covered the key points I hope to address. So thank you for listening to my tech-free discourse. And remember that this is a sample of a much bigger course. <laughs> Go try this tool and learn what happens when true stories are recounted with wit insight and grace, there's a chance to inspire and create a true learning space. Thank you, and now I have an exercise. So we're gonna put you to work, to engage in the next few minutes, and we only have, what am I doing with time? I have like four points. Seven minutes. Wow, I'm really doing better than I did in the kitchen. Okay, great. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. All right, so we have a little more extra time. So you're going to do a mind up. We're going to engage and start the process of storytelling. Because it can be powerful, it can be a lot of fun. You can reawaken things you forgot about yourself, or just use it as a tool to teach others. So some of you have scrap paper, my very low tech thing, and I love the fact that we have PowerPoint today. Or there's notes. And I have my very bring your own flip chart to work scenario here with some of the main things. So we're going to do a sound check just to get the energy moving in the room. Point to this world all together. Now we're going to say it out loud with feeling. Story <laughs> amazing, like a well oil machine. You have more in you, by the way, but that'll work for just now. We're going to talk about the setup, and I'm going to be annoying and talk over you while you're thinking this. And what I want you to do is a mind up. While we're thinking about stories, I want you to think about something in your life that you were inspired, inspired by, that made a difference, that really defines who you are. Don't overthink it. Like you said before, don't use too much of this. Use the back of your brain. It's not about making it perfect. Jay's out there, it's about getting it done, I know, but don't do that. Just write a few words to get yourself started. So the setup for me was thinking about stories and saying there's a pattern here. Joan has listened to me and everybody listened to me in the last couple of years saying, I teach with stories, I recruit with stories. There's something to this I need to build on this. What is your setup, your key facts to the story you want to tell? Just put a couple points down on a piece of paper. Come on, I'm looking at you. I've been a dean. <laughs> you <can> tell. <laughs> Literally going to be one or two bullets just to get you started. And then with you, the inciting event. When you think about that event, what was the thing that prompted you to take action? Was it a new course? Was it a new location? Was it a new hobby that you rediscovered? What was it? You had children, you got married. What was the thing that drove you forward? With me, it was at the computer one day, doing my thing, working, and I see this thing pop up. ASTD is having a You've Got Talent. I went, oh, that's nice. And then I went away. And then I looked at it again and went, don't you think you should really apply if you're saying you're doing this for you know, public speaking? And I did. And then you called me. <laughs> and then I got invited. So that was my event that projected me forward for the next few weeks. Rising actions. 
As we mentioned before, rising actions is the thing you did along the way, the journey. Like Don Quixote, what were the things you encountered? What challenges? What changes? What surprises? With me, it was the 12 minutes. Who thought of this 12 minutes? Are you kidding me? It's too long or it's too short. It's too long for stand-up and it's too short for training. So it's like, oh, I had a lot of conversations with you. Then, <laughs> then the poem came out and that was a total surprise when I started rhyming one night and saying, and I'm getting all the terms. And then I thought of you all a lot. I visualized this room and who you do and what you do and how you talk and thought, hmm, is this going to work at all? So rising actions, and then your main event, the climax, the thing that really stopped you in your tracks, made a major change, and set you on the new course of learning or living. My event today is I showed up. <laughs> <laughs> I presented, and I now know that I missed a step. Because I was supposed to go back and tell you about a narrative theme that's supposed to weave through all of your story, and I totally blew past that. But that's okay. You didn't notice, and I should not have read it. I should have just referred to it. But my narrative theme is looking for how powerful working in workshops with storytelling, how powerful it is. Part of it, and using poetry to do it, is the shock value, the surprise of putting yourself all the way out there on the floor, as we talked about before, and being authentic. And it's an amazing thing. You can have the most amazing tools at your disposal, the most amazing equipment, but you put your whole voice and your whole body into the process, and magic does happen. And what's next? The resolution. I know I did a lot of learning and thinking. I took some chances coming in here, but that's what leadership is, and that's what we tell everybody, take some chances, stretch our muscles. So I love the fact that it seems to be the theme of the evening. Um, you learned something, I certainly did, and I hope you learned something from this experience of just saying, wow, she got up there. And um, I just want to say thank you, and there'll be questions, and there's handouts as well. Thank you.